Our project this week is a folk art cat where we get to play with bright colors and patterns and just enjoy ourselves making a simple yet fun project. Um, I provided a set of markers for you, so we'll be using those. You also need uh, your pencil and eraser, the paper that I provided for you, um, and that's about it. This is a simple project this week. Let's get started. So our first step is going to be drawing the, um, the features on the face of the cat. And you can use either a black Sharpie or the black marker that comes with your the set of markers. Uh, but what we're going to do is start in the middle. And I would suggest that you do yours in uh, uh, pencil and then trace over it with the black Sharpie. I, of course, am going to be doing it in Sharpie first. So start with an upside down triangle for the nose. And then we're going to put whiskers on either side of that. And then I'm making my whole face just a little bit on the diagonal, just to give it a little whimsical kind of look. So it's a straight down line and then a straight across cross line, well, a little bit of an angle for, but you, you can design your cat however you want uh, for the mouth. And then I'm going to make the tops of the eyes and I'm going to have that at a little bit of an angle too. And some parentheses for the eyeball. Remember, cats have long skinny irises. Okay, so when you get done with that, then go ahead and trace over the lines, and then you can trace over the pre-drawn lines too. Now when you have that done, you want to go over with your eraser and erase any pencil mark that's showing. So you can see all of that. And if you need a little more time, you can go ahead and pause the video.
Okay, so now we're going to do the inside of the ears. Okay, so this is really the only standardized part of the project. The rest, I want you to use your imaginations and design your own folk art cat. So you can decide what colors. I gave you some very bright colors. Remember, folk art artists use very bright colors. And I'm going to start with the eyes, make them blue. You could make them a dark green or a light green, a yellow if you want. start making patterns. I'm going to be using a lot of dots instead of drawing lines. So this is a little design instead of eyelids. these dots and follow the line here with our dots all around that out, inside that outline that outside line that we just traced over repetition and term in as we make patterns helps our brain focus helps our eye hand coordination and helps us relax so just take your time as you make your patterns Again, you can follow along with mine, or you can make your own. Sure you breathe while you're concentrating.
Okay, now we're going to use another color and do a little ziggle zaggle line. If it's not comfortable for you to be doing this detail work, go ahead and make something bigger and do a completely different pattern. That's very good. Very, very okay. Stop and take a break. Stretch your fingers out if you need to. Walk around. Next, I'm going to f put some um, bigger dots on the inside of the tail. that. And then I'm going to do kind of abstract kind of flowers. So I'm going to start off with a big open circle, kind of randomly scatter those circles around the body of the cat. Fill up the whole body. Leave space. They don't have to be real close together. And then you can look to see if you need... So I need one down here. Seems to be a little bit of a gap there and there. Maybe do one right here. And another one right there. There, that looks good. Now, with different colors, what you can do is you can make a simple flower by just making an X and then one across. And so we're going to make an X and then one across. And we're going to scatter these different colors around so it'll look like a flower. 
garden on the cat. It's an X, one across or one down, it's whatever you want to do. Do several of those and then we're going to change to another color. We don't want to use blue, uh, but we can use our orange again. Excuse me. We can do yellow. Looks like we have two more circles. Okay, so let's go back to our our black and I'm going to do a line that's just behind where the cat is sitting for the ground. And then I'll turn this upside down. And then we're going to make some fun flowers behind the cat. And my first one is going to be kind of crop, so you're only going to see part of it. And so you can just make different size circles. Oops, got a little off on that one. I'm going to keep these simple. Center on that. And then we're going to do some petals. Circles of yellow here, just dots. So you can, again, you can color and decorate your flowers however you want. Just want to make sure that they're nice and colorful and fun. Then you can do some ziggy zaggies. It's like a never ending line. To fill up that space.
Okay, so now we're ready for the next one. I'm going to color it yellow. Purple dots on it. And this one will start in the middle. And we can just do little flower petals all around it. Again, you can draw these out with pencil if you want first. choose what you want to color in. Depends on how much time you have to complete this as to how intricate you want your flowers and the cat to be. Okay, so I'm going to put another flower here. And then I'm going to draw some leaves sort of scattering around. Filling up. This is what I'm going to have going behind the cat. here if you want. Sort of balance that out. This flower I'm just going to do a, a spiral. For the leaves, you can color in the leaves if you want. I'm just going to put the lines in. I'm going to put them a little curved so the leaves look a little rounded. Now, 
once you feel like you're finished with it, you can put the project away for a little bit and then come back and see if you want to add anything else. It might be that you want to add something down here on uh, the surface on which the cat's sitting. But then again, when you're done, you want to make sure that you clean up your pencil marks. work looks nice and, and clean. So you can see the flowers. So nice, nice job. Hope you enjoyed your project.